There are three things that I talk about on this channel a lot. You're being divine and operating in your divinity versus you're being a mere human and simply operating as a human and ignoring your divine self and what it means to alchemize every situation. So today I want to talk to you about alchemizing situations, what that means and how you are only able to do that in your divine state and then recognizing that the things that control you are the things that you have agreed with in your human state. I believe these distinctions make all the difference in whether or not in this time that we are living in, if you are going to be wiped out with the rest, or you're going to rise in your divinity, operate in your divinity, learn to alchemize in a way that in every single situation, you are breaking up with the things that you have agreed to in your former life and everything that you've agreed to in your humanness that I'm referring to as your former so that you can rise, operate in your divinity, live according to the ways that you were designed to live and stop spinning your wheels, following the social constructs and rise to the occasion of which we have all come for. Listen, we all make choices. You can live in your divinity or you can remain in that human consciousness. I'm telling you, there is a higher expanded way that you can live. And that is where I am and where I am staying. I have broken up with all of the agreements I made in my humanness in order to just allow this body to be what I use as I experience this world, not let it decide how I will live in this world. All right? If you're ready for that, that's where I'm going. Hi, my name is Zara Green and I'm glad you're here. This is either a welcome or a welcome back. Let's jump right in looking at defining what it means to alchemize. To alchemize is to transform the nature or properties of something by a seemingly magical process. To alchemize is simply to transform, to change, or to convert. If you've been around me, you've heard me say, or you already know, because I am not the first to say it, that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed. So every single situation you find yourself in, it's energy in motion. That energy in motion needs you to alchemize it. It needs a person to transform that energy. Energy on its own follows momentum. And if you have a situation or circumstance in your life where you have created the pathways for that thing to happen over and over again, you have to alchemize that situation. That means you have to take it, you have to look at it, you have to sit with it. And if it's a painful situation, you cannot keep running from it. You can't keep creating all these voids from it or avoiding it. You have to sit with it. You have to transform it. You have to embrace it as the lesson it came to teach you so that you can change the energy. If you're not changing the energy, you're not alchemizing the situation. You sit with pain, you sit with situations so that you can decide you are no longer treating that thing in the way that when it showed up, you accepted it. Because that's the only way it's a part of who you are. You identified with that thing and it became a part of you. So in order to change it, you have to sit with that thing, decide from your divinity, decide to alchemize it into something that is higher than your human form. How does that happen? Here we go. Okay, so I want to give you a real life example of what it means to alchemize something you may have agreed with in your humanness. And now that you are learning better, as you are learning better to live in your divinity and what it means every moment to alchemize things, then I have something right now. Do you hear my voice? My voice is cracking. Hell, y'all, I do not get sick, okay? Uh, somebody moved into, uh, moved next door to me a few days ago, and it was obvious that this person was not well. 
And, uh, and, and I started to hear that, right? And I had an immediate reaction to uh, the, the coughing and you know, seeing the person walking in. I, up in Central America, we don't need jackets around here, uh, and especially where I am. And he uh, had on a jacket. And I was thinking, well, that's not good because um, w w that's not necessary where we are right now. And, and somewhere within me, though, uh, in the, uh, I heard him coughing again, and I had the thought, uh, go somewhere with that. And, of course, you know, COVID and all of that reinforced some of that, right? Even though I was on the other side of that throughout. But anyway, um, but hearing that, I did have a thought, oh, brother, go somewhere else with that, you know, is kind of what I thought. And I didn't do anything with it in that moment. Um, I had the thought. And then uh, yesterday, I found myself coughing up mucus. And I, 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 in that moment, went, okay, this ain't cool. But here's what I did. I grabbed the um, oil of oregano because that's what I do. That's what I keep those kinds of things around. And I usually will just kind of take it just because, right? And I haven't done that in months. And when I felt that happening, I went to the oil of oregano. I did not address the crap that was going on in, 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 in my mind or in the background. Whereas if I were to alchemize that right away, as soon as that happened, and I had the thought that there is such a thing as being contagious and welcoming something, and it's still not too late because I just alchemized this thing just a few minutes ago, right? But here's how I do it. I made an agreement at some time in my life even though I have broken the agreement over and over, um, you, you know, a level of uh, awareness and Christ consciousness is something you practice until you totally become it. And apparently this is showing me that I still need some practice in this area, even though I really do not get sick. And so my voice is cracking now. I've been coughing up some stuff. I feel fine. So I'm nipping this thing in the bud, and this is how I do it. In my divine self, in my divinity, I know that I am not, that this body cannot be contagious if I'm operating in my I amness. So in alchemizing this thing, then I look at it and go, oh, I clearly made an agreement in my, uh, in my humanness that this is a possibility for me. Alchemizing that means that I now align with my I amness that says I am well, I am whole, I am complete. And there is no sicknesses or any kind of uh, contagiousness that can come upon this, that can come upon my, uh, my, the, the body that carries my I amness. the body that I use in this human experience. Now that may have been a long way to say, uh, be gone, I no longer agree with that. I do not agree with uh, any kind of cold or any kind of symptoms of colds being able to attach itself to my human apparatus, okay? But that's it, you alchemize in that way. You go to a higher realm that says, I agree that I am whole, I am well, and all things always work out for my good. And I'm not gonna spend any more time with that. I've decided that is the case, and it doesn't matter what else, the show what else shows up, that is the case for me. That thing is alchemized, and the next time I'll be at a higher realm and be able to handle this in a different way, okay? in a more efficient way and to handle it in a way that is not agreeing with it. I hadn't realized for the past several days that I'd been cooperating with this thing instead of disagreeing with it, okay? That is a simple way to alchemize things in your life. That's what you do to anything that shows up in your life that is unwanted. You don't want it, there is somewhere you've agreed with it and created a pattern in your life for that thing to flow. Now you block it off and wherever the momentum is, life is always just showing you momentum, okay?
So I'm coming back and clearly there's some kind of flow in my life for this thing for it to show up and be able to demonstrate in the ways that it has. I'm not going to argue with this. I'm cooperating with it. I see you. Thank you for communicating with me. I'm blocking this thing off and slowing the momentum so that I can course correct. And that's what you have to do in your life with every single situation that shows up that is unwanted. Our job in operating in our divinity is to alchemize the situations that we do not want. So I'm telling you whatever is going on in your life, and especially if you are in the United States dealing with a lot of unwanted circumstances that our social conditioning and programming has placed upon us. And you may not like to hear this, but part of the social conditioning is that you had to follow the ways of success that the society set up. And now having to deprogram from those things. Well, those are patterns and grooves that are now set up in your brain that you now have to go back and course correct. So if you have circumstances in your life, especially where lack is concerned with health, wealth, relationships that need some attention, then I am telling you, this is how you go higher in life in order to address those things. You go to your divinity in order to course correct all of the agreements you made that you identify with lack in your life. And that is how you go from this 3D reality using 5D tools in order to bring this here and live from your divinity instead of the lack and your humanness and remind yourself that you are not mere human, but you are divine. That is a simple way to be able to correct, course correct, and start to live in your divine self. Now here's an exercise for you. Grab a sheet of paper, any sheet of paper, and start to list all of the things you consider problems in your life right now. And from that, then you'll also be able to figure out what you have agreed to in this life that is causing you to feel the pain and the lack in that situation because there is a lie in that, all right? When you figure out the lie, then you start to identify with the truth and you alchemize the lie and you don't let up in alchemizing that lie so that you are then living in your divine self, in your divinity. And soon those lies will convert to the truth that they are because you have alchemized them. You are no longer agreeing that the lies are truth. You are flipping this thing, living in your divinity, disagreeing with the lies that, were, that you agreed with before. And that is how you alchemize. It really is that simple. And before long, you are no longer living in those mere human identities. You are agreeing with your divine self and those limitations you are rising out of, and you will then start to look around and see that you are indeed divine. You really do get to live from that space of love, not those spaces of fear, okay? Because you are either living in love or you are operating with the fears of the stuff that you agreed with in that mere humanness, all right? Well, that's all I have for you today. It's your life. Choose it just as it is on it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Change it. As long as you can breathe and learn, it can get better. From somewhere out here in these South American streets, ciao for now.